Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's Donna from Tarot Tarot. Done a quick read for you. We're going to go for your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread at the end. We're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc. If any card repeats, I'll point that out in case it's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case it's confirmation with somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. I did a pre-shuffle with the Transient Light Tarot. Can you even see this? Um, and I'll show you the decks that I'm using in case you want to purchase one for yourself or for somebody else as a gift. Um, so it's a difficult deck to read, so that's why I did the pre-shuffle before hitting record, so I could kind of take it all in. Um, a lot of new beginnings, Aquarius. Lots of new, new, everything is new. Um, and it it's having you not focus on the old at all or anything long term it's not even like saying focus on long term it's just saying focus on the moment the here the now um and opportunities um champion of swords the nine of wands ace of wands the crown of vessels the ace of coins the, the full card on the bottom two aces and a full card i mean yeah, hello it's all new um now um vessels are like cups so i forgot to mention that one up uh, champion is like the uh, the knight of swords um, now in this deck, it's saying basically to focus on sticking to the facts, keep it a cool head and not letting anybody or anything cause you to lose your cool. Don't let your emotions take you off of the facts. Um, so I get listening, engage higher reason. Um, I put the friendship card there too, cause I pulled some Oracle cards. Um, so that it could involve friends and it could also, that's kind of the, I feel like the friendship card belongs between that and the nine of wands. Cause the nine of wands is about maintaining patience with the process letting things come to fruition and not being patient um and then being patient with people as well and letting thing, people do things in their own time um so it could have something to do with your friends i don't know um also career was highlighted um and if you knew that you would be supported what would you do so it might be new career opportunities um also the baby card came out and i put it with the ace of wands if you're not trying to start a family, I would just say take care, be be careful. Um, for a lot of you, though, you there's a dream that you've had that you're actually able to um, put into motion, to actually to maybe see it realized, to actually work on it. Um, you get dream the world into being and the, the dreams card. Uh, Crown of Vessels, the, the King of Cups, um, just emotional maturity, uh, vulnerability and diplomacy so just basically there's a focus on emotional maturity um and that kind of goes back to like the, the the knight of swords like not letting people uh cause you to l lose control of your emotions and act rashly um but just emotional maturity maintaining your emotions um being emotionally vulnerable and mature and then just being very diplomatic about things you get um non-judgment and make no judgments so it's it, that may have a lot to do with the emotional maturity is not being judgmental in some way. Um, I put the assess card above the ace of coins uh, because opportunity knocks, but don't worry about long term. Um, just maybe re I don't know how reassess before I say anything about that. Um, I'm not opening the door. I forgot to leave it open. I'm not opening it. All right. So four wands. Uh, the Ace of Coins and the Reassess. So it might be telling you to reassess um, something that you thought was going to be long-term or some type of commitment type of thing. I mean, could be a marriage, could be um, a job that you thought was going to be long-term. All right, so let's do your money. I'm going to get all these out of the way and move everything up. Um, crap, there's so much here. So much here. I also got a few other cards. I don't know if they mean anything to anybody. Oh, the numbers that were, might might mean something. Um, if it means anything to you, any particular numbers? Uh, number forty four. Um, thirty eight. If any of these numbers mean anything to you, um, the number sixty four might be forty four again. So yeah, forty four came out twice. Thirty two. And I think that's it. Um, for the cards that came out, you get uh, sometimes life stings, uh, value your self-worth, Greco-Roman, I don't know what's up with that. Find your blessing in your current situation, chemistry card came out. Um, be gentle with yourself, love who you are, and luminous warrior. I've never known how to take that one. 
Um, never do know how to take that. All right, so let's move this all out of the way and do your career. But yeah, lots of new stuff, like new opportunities. Um, oh, I didn't choose the decks. Dag nabbit. All right, where well, you could actually witness me choosing the decks. I meant to do that before I didn't record, and I did it. So 17 for your money. We're going to use the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. This ought to be interesting. Hopefully your money situation isn't a nightmare. <laughs> is that what that means? Hopefully not. All right, so what is your financial situation? On the bottom of the deck, Page of Presents. Um, it's like the Page of Pentacles. Do you feel like you don't have a lot financially? Usually Aquarius folks are really good at saving. Um, you all know how to save and how to be thrifty normally. Um, so look at this guy. This is the page of presents in the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas deck. All right, so let's see what's going on with your money. Um, you get the Seven of Swords. Ooh, okay. Well, you're not letting people know what you're doing. Um, hopefully you're not obtaining it illegally. Um, queen of Candles. That's like the Queen of Wands. The world card. Look at this world card. Oh, and what's on the bottom? Ha! Huh. All right. You know what? No matter what happens, you're going to be fine. I think you're going to be very stable. So you, even if you feel like you don't have a lot, um, you're going to be good. Look at this, though. Now, you may be, um, you may make your money doing something involving traveling or the internet. Uh, the world card is usually a card of, like, um, dealing with the world, being out in the world, it's traveling in the world. Um foreign cultures, you know, dealing with lots of different people. The seven of wands. Hopefully you're not blocking your blessings. And the six of swords. So is there some kind of financial situation that you're moving on from? Um, some kind of um, drama or chaos in your finances? Look, now this is their king of pentacles, which is like that's like the card of being financially set, not needing anything, you're doing good. This is their version of the King of Pentacles. It is what it is, right? It's it's the fluff deck, but um, I, you know what, you're gonna be fine. So but no matter what, now you are kind of keeping it to yourself though. I hope, again, hopefully you're not doing anything illegal, um, but you are moving on from some kind of um, some kind of financial situation. I don't know if something cost a lot more than it was supposed to. I'm not really sure what, the, if some kind of bill came in that you weren't expecting. I don't know. But you recover from whatever it is because you get the King of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. So you're good. And let's see. What is your career situation? We're going to use the Tattoo Tarot. So this deck for career. things up in the air with your job career you get the two of pentacles on the bottom oh, that's my hairball dogs if you could hear them all right what's going on nine of wands nine of coins i mean you're you may be see this is a card of uh, somebody who travels like the traveler um Somebody who doesn't stay in one place long. Hmm. Didn't you get the world card earlier? You hear them? Um, but nine of coins, like you're, you make good money. You do well. Uh, Wheel of Fortune right next to it. Wow. Ace of Swords um, and Six of Swords again. So that's the Six of Swords and the Six of Needles. That's the same thing. That's an Aquarius card. Five, Six, and Seven of Swords is uh, Aquarius. Um king of wands so another king on the bottom um and knight of wands so you actually what you you feel really good at, like what you do makes you feel really good or you feel like there's a you, you have a lot of passion for what you do and it might make you look um very desirable maybe people see you as desirable or whatever it is that you do makes you desirable to people is the king of wands on the bottom. That's like somebody who's, you know, in charge, um, confident, sexy, um, desirable. They have magnetism. All right, 
and I put all these cards up here. And we're going to do your love with the... So what's... Yeah, and they're the full card. When I looked at this, I was thinking, well, what's going to happen? So new adventures, new something new when it comes to your job or career. There's going to be new opportunities. You're going to take a risk. Um, 16 or 18. 18 is the Hocus Pocus. Another fluff deck. That is funny as crap. Look at this. This is the other deck. So for your love situation, what is on the bottom? King of potions. Now I think potions in this deck is, um, potions is like, before I say it, Okay, lightning is swords, potions is cups, pumpkins is pentacles. Bear with me. I, I should have made a cheat sheet for this. There's a lot of pumpkins here. Uh, lightning, pumpkins, well, come on. Candles is wands. Okay, so candles is wands, pumpkins is pe pentacles. Lightning is swords and potions is cups. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I didn't make a cheat sheet. I should have. Um, king of potions. So king of cups. Look at that. So another king. Lots of masculine energy here. Just pointing that out. Another king. This is like the king of cups in the Hocus Pocus deck. So um, that's like emotional maturity. Or an older, like a love interest that's that's older, older or more mature. Um, so the 10 of, okay, so lightning is swords, <laughs> 10 of swords. So is, are you done with something? Nine of swords, because it caused you to lose a lot of sleep. I'm literally, you're literally watching me transpose in my head. I'm like, okay, so Queen of Pumpkins is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, interesting, though. I mean, that's that's stability. Nine of Pumpkins, Nine of Pentacles. And now the Nine of Pentacles has come out twice. That is um, Nine of Coins and Nine of Pumpkins. It's That's both Nine of Pentacles. That's a, a Virgo card. And that's a card of being single and having everything you need. Ten of candles is like ten of wands. Two tens. So are you done with somebody or something? Uh, the magician. I could take this two ways, and I think I'm going to take it this way. Because, okay, you could be trying to manifest somebody new, and that is very possible. Is there something new coming in? It, <laughs> well, interestingly enough, okay, so you get the, the ten of swords, ten of lightning, Ten of candles, ten of wands. And when I ask if something new was coming in, it's another ten, which tens have to do with endings, but also new beginnings. Endings and beginnings. The ten of potions is like the ten of cups. So that's like, you know, the happily ever after. So if something new comes in, that is going to be like your, that's going to be wish fulfillment for sure. That's going to be your happily ever after type person. So somebody that's going to make you very happy. So you could be manifesting uh, somebody new that's going to be your happily ever after. If you are not manifesting it, um, then I'm going to say that the, the one that you are now done with was very manipulative, extremely manipulative. Um, that could be why you're just kind of focusing on your coin right now and you're good on your own. You're happily single. Um, cause you don't want to stress out over anybody. All right. So let's do your general spread with the 19 is the, oh my God, Offset Gypsy. All these decks that I don't normally use. And this is what I, this is how I set myself up. Because <laughs> I, I wrote them all out and I'm rolling a 24 side die. So that's, that's 24 decks that I'm willing to use. All right, so Offset Gypsy. This is the Carnival of Life. Okay, they're this way. <clears throat> and this one has the opportunity 
to have two cards on the bottom because there's two sets. Okay, so this one has the King of Wands, another king, I'm just pointing that out. Now, if, if you're a masculine and your love interest is also a masculine, then that makes sense. The Three of Wands, so are you waiting on somebody? Is somebody making you wait? Hopefully not. So, th oh wait. Yeah, Three of Wands and King of Wands. That's a weird deck. Okay, so, yeah, so you could be waiting on a King of Wands. Somebody with a lot of... It's my cat, Casey. He is very sick. Him, his brother, and his sister are really, really sick right now. I have the flu, and they have some kind of cat really bad cat cold and they're old they were born in 2009 so um i'm just gonna keep an eye on him because <laughs> everybody's breathing hard and congested and ugh. even the, the young kitten is like sneezing his head off and now congested all right so let's see generally nine of pentacles so yeah you could be dealing with a virgo was it um did it Capricorn? I think I did for the Capricorn reading. Yeah, they got uh, the Hermit card kept coming out. So they're dealing with Virgo energy. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's with someone rising or Venus and Virgo. Because this is the card. The first I was the first card actually come out. Um, not on the bottom. And then you know what? I shuffled and still ended up on the bottom. So that's interesting. Um, there's some holding back. You're trying to be. Look at this. Okay, so if this has to do with your love, um, first of all, financially you're set. You don't need anybody. You don't need any help from anyone. Um, you're you're happily single. It looks like um, you're holding back. You're trying to tame the beast. Um, things are feeling stuck. Um, is it a restart? I feel like it's not. If there is a restart, it is with somebody with Leo energy because you get the Sun card and the Strength card here too. Um, but that's usually a yes. So some of you all might have a restart with somebody with Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and Virgo. And I say that because Nine of Pentacles keeps coming out. But that's usually a card of being single as well. But Judgment card, I, I, that can be a restart. So I ask, is it a restart? And I got the Sun card. Sun is kind of like a big yes, right? Um, six of wands. I don't know. I mean, this looks like you in general are very public. You're getting recognition. Um, it's like you're having, you're tooting your own horn or it's, I mean, you're getting recognized. Maybe you have to toot your own horn to get recognized. I don't know. Um, but look, the king of wands on the bottom of the deck again. This is you looking good, feeling good. Um, people seeing you as very attractive, very sexy. Um, Aquarius, it's like you all have it going on. Okay, so see, I'm low battery. So I can record one now, and then I'm going to have to wait until um, later to do the third one, the Pisces one. Um, any advice? What? Two of Cups. But I feel like this is, because there's no people in the, I said, what is the advice? Is there any advice? And I get this card. But notice there's no people in it. Um, so it's not like two people sharing love. So I feel like if you look at that picture, I feel like it's saying be open. Keep your heart open, be open to love. Isn't that what you got earlier is the, with the crown of vessels, um, it's telling you to keep your heart open and remain emotionally um, just open. I think a Capricorn kind of got that too with, um, what did they get? Um, yeah, I don't remember where the card was, but it was, it had, it was the same, kind of like the same thing. All right, so let's do six cards down as destiny. And I went over, I didn't want to go over, but oh, well, I did. We're already 19 minutes because I got, it's probably because I use these decks that I'm not used to reading. I had to like literally transpose them in my brain to try and figure out what I was even looking at. Um, you need to open up emotionally. <laughs> Aquarius, you're getting called out for that. Um, they are, but it's sideways, so not, you know, it's not super bad. 
they're afraid of commitment is sideways as well. So maybe you've dealt with somebody who is afraid of commitment and they're realizing it, so they're, they're making changes. Uh, positive recognition coming in. What did I just say? You're getting recognized. So you are going to get recognized for your efforts. You might have to toot your own horn to get it going, but do what you got to do. Draw attention to yourself. Um, they want you... They want to see you. They're anxious as sideways. So I'm not even sure how to interpret that one. Um, and they're losing sleep over this is also sideways. So maybe they're getting a hold of themselves. I don't know. Look, you know what? Sometimes the deck just tells you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. So if you were waiting on somebody, don't. Just dump them. And look, if you've been stressing out and losing sleep over something, just relax. Okay, so if you're dealing with an Aries, my dogs are flipping out, and I don't know why. I'm tempted to pause this and go look. Um, wow, whoever you're dealing with, this is this describes them. They have bad habits. They have, and even if it's just insecurities that make them act out, they could have addictions. Um, they could be somebody who cheats, lies, I don't know. But mm, I think it said dump them, right? Okay, Aries is focused on what went wrong. They have trust issues anyway. Uh, Taurus is holding back. Um, they're ignoring you. Um, ignoring. The Gemini, um, they want to... They're they want to reunite. They're looking back over text messages and pictures, and they're kind of hiding out, seeking answers. Cancer is um, very defensive, but they have a lot of passion for you. Um, the Leah wants to make things right. Um, things are up in the air, but you know what? I feel like they're a juggler. The Leo might be a juggler. Um, so the Virgo has a lot of passion for you, but they, they're kind of bossy. Uh, you know what? The Libra is so conflicted. They feel like it's a disaster, but at the same time, they have a lot of, you make them happy and they want to grow with you, even though they feel like it's a disaster. So they like a, dis they're, what? They like a disaster? Oh, whatever. Um, the Scorpio is heartbroken over this. Um, they feel like you are soulmates. The Sagittarius has a lot of love for you. They try to decide whether or not it's worth it. Um, they also might be somebody who likes to see what they can get out of people. Just a little warning there. Uh, Capricorn, if you're dealing with fellow Capricorn, they're feeling stuck. Um, and they want to they want to commit to you. They may want to move in with you. Um, build with you. I feel like I, the words build with you came to my head. Um, oh, you're actually Aquarius, aren't you? So you could have something in Capricorn. Um, the Capricorn, if you're dealing with... Or, yeah, it, <laughs> that could be... the If you're dealing with a fellow Aquarius, God help me. If you're dealing with a fellow Aquarius, maybe they have a hard time getting their words out. Um, they are argumentative, secretive, and confused. And they have a lot of irrational fears. They're, they're kind of a drama. Um, the, the Pisces, uh, they have unhealthy habits. They're trying to be patient. But they feel like this is toxic. <laughs> they're trying to be patient, but they feel like this is toxic. And I feel like maybe they are the toxic one... They could be reckless. That could be why. All right. <laughs> and look, here you are waiting. Don't be waiting. It says dump them, right? Don't be waiting on them. All right, Aquarius. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.